Hello and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Hannah Wallace and we're here at Money 2020 in Las Vegas. Kindly joining me now is Pierre Habis from MUFG Union Bank. Hello, Pierre. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you for having me, Hannah. No problem at all. So to start off then, could you sort of introduce yourself and your role at MUFG Union Bank and how things are shaking up? Because I know you've been working on some new ideas. Yeah. Well, uh, we are a 150-year-old traditional brick-and-mortar bank here in the United States on the West Coast. But what's exciting is also uh, we, we rolled out a brand new digital hybrid bank called PurePoint Financial. And that is what's shaken. All right, that sounds very interesting. Can you tell us a bit more about PurePoint? Yeah, so PurePoint is our innovation lab. But different than most other firms, the lab is open to the public. It's an actual physical running business. So we thought we'd combine the ideas of how do we learn what we want to be when we grow up? How do we usher ourselves into the future? At the same time, can we make some money out of this? And can we grow a business? And that's what PurePoint is. All right, and growing the, that business and developing these new ideas, what have been some of the lessons along the way, um, but also the challenges? Well, the biggest lessons have been the understanding of how to use technology, and probably the, the biggest lesson is we don't have to invent the technology. Mm -hmm. It's out there. It's about how to integrate the technology that's out there in a way that we can not only understand it, but use it in a very powerful way. So that's been number one. Some of the ch other challenges have been really the culture of it all. If, when you start a separate bank or a separate division, separate from your big 800 pound gorilla company, how do they mix and do they? And for right now we've kept them separate, but been looking about how do we bring them closer together? And you have two separate cultures, one very traditional, one very forward thinking. And those are the things we're working through right now. And I know you've been on stage at the event talking about disrupting from within, mm -hmm. which takes a certain sort of mindset. Um, so can you tell me a bit more about that, please? So when you're a 150-year-old bank that's doing very well, you don't want to disrupt the business model and the, and the revenue that's coming in. But how do you think about tomorrow? Mm -hmm. How do you think about not becoming a dinosaur? And it's very difficult. So what we did is we built something completely separate separate people, actually went and recruited and hired folks that weren't necessarily in the financial industry, and we stood it up. Again, just like a, someone would do, a firm would do as a lab, but we thought we would do it in the public eye and make it a business, and that's what we've kind of done. All right, and talking a bit about um, businesses going forward, what kind of new technologies are keeping you up at night? Well, it's less about what's new technology, but how do I integrate the technology? Consumers are not necessarily looking for new technology. They want simplicity, they want ease of using, they want this customer journey and experience. And there's a lot of wonderful firms here at Money 2020 that have great technology. So it's really what keeps me up at night is how do I integrate it and what's my priority? All right, and to end on the crystal ball question as it were, what does the future hold for MUFG Union Bank? Well, the future is you look at PurePoint and you say, how do I take the best out of our public lab and put it into Union Bank here on the West Coast and continue to grow? And there's a bright future there. Super excited. So that some exciting developments ahead then. Well, Pierre, I'll let you get back to the event. I know you've got a lot to do. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Anna.